This is an intro video for Google Cloud. We're gonna look into how we can create a new project, set up billing, then add and then remove a second developer. A use case for this workflow will be if you hire a freelancer to do some work on your Google Cloud project and then remove him once he finished the work. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Thanks. We're gonna start by searching for Google Cloud Console and uh, click on create free account here we need to sign in with our google account uh, this one password all good and um, now we just click on console here top right corner So yeah, we need to go through this. Uh, we need to agree to the terms of service. And um, here at the top, it will be, there will be the project selector. Right now, there's no project in our organization and we're gonna create a new one by clicking new project. Uh, yeah, the name doesn't matter. Um, all right. I was trying to select an organization, but there isn't one. We'll see how that works. We click on create for the project. It's gonna take a second for the project to be created. So now it's good, we need to select it. And uh, as you can see, there are, are a lot of things in this side menu in Google Cloud. What I usually do to navigate is I just use the search bar and the next thing that we're going to do is turn on billing. So we, you just search for billing. You go to this page. And you need to link a billing account. It says enable billing. You need to create a billing account first. Okay. Uh, we'll just say business idea, startup idea, whatever. I don't think it matters. We click continue. Phone, my phone number, continue. And in here, um, yeah, sure. I put my, and now I'm gonna put my credit card, add credit or debit card. And um, I'm gonna enter my credit card. Maybe I'll skip ahead in the video because I don't wanna show my credit cards publicly. Okay, I finished adding my credit card information. Uh, they're sending us this survey. I don't think it matters that much. Actually, we can just do close, I guess. Try, yeah, skip. They're trying to show us all these tutorials and onboarding. So now we see that we have the billing account set and we'll go back to home. And now we go to IAM and admin to add a new user to our project. IAM stands for Identity and Access Management. So we can either click here on IAM or we can search for IAM in the search bar. We go to IAM and admin. So we see here that this is the email address that I used for Signing, signing in into Google Cloud and I'm uh, already the owner of the project. But if we wanna add another developer to our project, we are simply gonna add his email address in here. And for um, a role, so here in roles, uh, we can have basic roles and um, we can give him the a role of an editor for now or an owner this will give him full access to the project if you want to give them if you want to give him a more specific access you can do for example a sql let's see we can do cloud sql admin and this will only allow him to create databases delete databases etc et but um unless you know specifically what what roles you want to give him uh, you can just give him, let's say, editor or owner, save, and uh, he won't have access to the billing information. I mean, he can deploy cloud resources and that will charge your, your billing account, but he cannot see your credit card or anything like that.
once you added the other developer to IAM, you need to send them the project ID. You would go to the top of the page to this drop down menu next to Google Cloud Platform, and uh, you need to copy this ID from the second column, and you'll send it to him via email, text, chat, uh, whatever method. And here I'm going to show you how it looks from the perspective of the other developer. So in, uh, in this second window, I'm logged in with this email we just added as editor. And once I receive that ID, I'll go in here and type the project ID in the search bar. Now I can click on this project. And uh, if, I, if I search for billing, and we go to manage billing accounts, we'll see inside my projects. And uh, th this is the project we just created. These other projects I had before this video, they're not relevant for the video. And if we click on this billing account and account management, it says uh, pr our project is linked to this billing account and you don't have permissions to access this account. So I cannot close it. I don't have permission. I cannot I cannot change billing from here. I cannot change another credit card or review the credit card or anything like that. When the developer has finished the project, you might want to revoke his access to, Google, to your Google Cloud project. And for that, you will uh, do the same steps in reverse. You go to IAM, click on this pencil on the right, and then remove the editor role, save. And uh, it's going to take maybe a minute or two for the change to propagate and his access to be revoked. So yeah, now we see that I get this error. I don't have uh, sufficient permissions to view this page in the developer account. And if we go to home, it should be the same error. And if I click on the drop down to select the project, we see that the project I was uh, working on earlier disappeared. So I no longer have access. That's it for today. I hope you learned something. There will be some videos showing up on the screen in case you want to continue watching. There's also my business website in the video description in case you need help with uh, cloud development. See you next time.